afternoon baseball now on a Southern California Sunday at Angel Stadium of Anaheim. Stepping in, Dan Beverly, one of the better the hitters in the league this year, currently seventh in the American Dan League in hitting. Harold, Beverly. these twins, as they take the field here this afternoon, they enter this one off a loss after winning five of seven prior to that. Yeah, I mean, the four-game series looked real promising. You win the first game, then you lose the next two. And all of a sudden, you're sitting here in the fourth game going, this game is critical for us to split this series and feel good about ourselves. Well, here's a look now at the Angels' starting lineup. Harold, what's the key for them against one of the best starters in the game? Well, Matt, this is a very aggressive club. They steal a lot of bases. They're not at the top of the league, but, man, they're right there. They're not far behind. They will run at every opportunity they get to try to force mistakes. Kozar is going to get there as he backs up to put it away, and there are two gone now. Ready now, batting Mike third. Trout having a Better very field, nice man. year, currently Mike. second in the American Trout. League in batting average entering play. Even though he let Steve that up. one go, you know that's the kind of pitch he likes to take a big hack at. Not too many power hitters that don't like a stomach. Three. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. So striding forward now. Herb and Hernandez. He'll get us going here in the Third bottom half of the second. Herb First pitch fastball Hernandez. swung on and missed 0-1. Oh, and he's Hernandez. really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Well, I think his eyes lit up when he saw that pitch coming up at his eye level. Oh, you think? If you've got a good fastball like he does, that location can be really effective. It looks so tempting to the hitter, but making contact on that pitch can be very tough. Blake Swihart is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Gets the fastball by him here and he's in control 0 and 2. Oh and this is swung on and missed four strikeouts already and that's out number two. First pitch on its way. Avisail Garcia is next as he finds himself behind 0 and 1. Oh man he's got a chance to strike out the side on nine pitches seven down Two to go, and there's number eight, oh, one away. Can't get him to chase, it's one and two. And just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. Now the beauty of the Southern California. And leading off for the Halo. Pulled there's high in the air out to right Halo. field. Go Castellanos on. is right there, one pitch, one away. So with one away now, time for a check of the standings as you find out where the Twins find themselves in the AL Central picture. Now in the box, Ricky Hurd. And you can see his home road splits there. He has not fared very well in front of the home crowd, oddly enough. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Way in front of a great slider that time. What a good pitch. He went way out of the zone to try to swing and catch up to that slider. Now you got him thinking. It's 0-2. You can throw him anything you want. And a swing and a miss. And another punch out here. Six already. And that's out number two. And the pitch. Nice Ball chop foul right at Chris home plate. And it's 0-1. The wind up and the 0-1. A swing and a miss. He's behind the big curveball. Well, that was an awful late swing on a curveball. One of two things. He either didn't pick it up. Or he... A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Angels are... Striding in once again. Dan Beverly. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Number 48. Oh, one pitch on its way. Grounded to third. And he set down one away. Digging in for his second at bat, Andreas Murillo comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low scoring pitcher's duel for once. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Andreas Murillo goes down for route number two in the bottom half. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Here's Trout waiting on the 1 1. 
A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. Well, that looked like a hittable pitch, Matt, in a hittable location but to a good hitter. You just don't see him miss many pitches like that. Sardinius is there, and the side is retired. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Herb Hernandez. He leads off from the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. And they'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. No offer at the curve that time, and it's knotted up at two and two hit hard on the ground to second and he will whip this one over to first in time for the out well it's still early but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season and as you see he's right up there among league leaders in that department breaking ball and a good one on the corner to make it 0 and 2 I got to say, his command of the corners in this start has been pretty exceptional. He's mixed east and west really well, and it's a big reason why he's had success. Now batting. Right. Avisail Garcia Avisail is in with two away Garcia. here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing in two. Two outs, two strikes, and we're in the fifth inning. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Here's Caleb Coward. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. I'll tell you what, his spot has been the outside pitch right there. And now we're late in the game, and he continues to pound the outside pitch. And it's really working out for him. Pro on to first in time one away so another exceptional effort for him on the mound he's got the shutout working here as we'll show you the league ERA leaders and as you can see there he's really had it going into the month of June currently leading the AL in that department now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate looking to punch him out again the pitch again he sends it out of play the next 0 2. Another one sent foul. He's just fouling them off till he gets something he wants to hit. Another 0 2 home. And they'll try to one tempt ball. him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's 1 and 2. And he struck him out. So double digits now, 10 strikeouts for him thus far. The Ready with the first three. pitch. Here Short it comes. Stops. High Chris pop up. Taylor. Murphy waits on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Eight. Ready for another shot now. Dan Beverly. He's 0 for 2 thus better. far in this one. Dan Hit weakly back Beverly. to the mound. Throw to first is in time for the first out. A couple of lefties start to get loose now in the bullpen. Rip down the line. And that's a base hit. So the perfect game bid ends in the seventh. And he'll reach second now with one away. Ah, they finally break through for their first hit of the ball game. So the no hit bid will end right here. Yeah, well, right here's where your catcher comes out and says, take a pause. It's okay. And get him refocused because you don't want the game to spin out of hand now. He puts great early. But he's got to finish it off now. Oh, and he gripped that one a bit too tightly as it broke down and just about got him. Fastball called strike. One and two. Smoked on the ground up the middle. Played on the backhand. On to first and there were two down. Ready once again. Herb Hernandez. 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Outside target here and he hits it for strike one. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at that. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. And that'll bring in the speedy and catcher, Blake Swihart. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0 and 1. And boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0 and 2 now. A chance here for Dozier at second. And the throw to first is in time. One gun. 
Digging in once again, Avisail Garcia. 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts for him so far. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 and 1. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. 1 and 1. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Yeah, and they set him up with that curveball on the pitch before, and that one, they just blew right by him. And they could go either way now, First I suppose. So he chased out of the strike zone Caleb. on that one. Avisail Garcia is sent packing for the third time today. Sent on the ground out to second. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Eight. Digging in to try it again, Ricky Hurd. Starting Leading things for his side in line. the ninth as they Second face the baseman. improbable odds Ricky of trying to come Hurd. back in this one. Yeah, well, not a lot of hope now. for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Looking to send him packing again. There's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. Hard hit to first. A dive. He's got it. It's in time. And that's a huge play to keep the leadoff man off base. Now batting. Chris Taylor is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0 1. Curveball. Swing and a miss, and he's behind in the count 0 2. Now that's a good curveball. That's the old 12 to 6 from midnight to 6 a.m. And he's doing it all day. Well, I think he's trying to get that two strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Chris Taylor goes down and they've got only one out left to work with. Tell you what, this is the wrong guy to float around with. He's been swinging about really good in this series and he hasn't got a hit in this game yet. But I'm going to tell you what, I, I wouldn't mess with him. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's one and two. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. And a swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats. So another foul ball here and it remains one and two. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. Swing and a miss. He struck him out and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Hey, not many pitchers can brag about throwing a one hit complete game. So hats off for him. But as a pitcher, I know he's going to wonder, like, what might have been so close the to a no hitter, but it wasn't. Many A coach acknowledges a pitcher on his recent spree of strikeouts. He's on a torrid pace. They'll see if he can keep it up. 